Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, what's up? My name is Caitlin, and this is the channel where I talk all things toys and dolls. Today we are back with another Shadow High ranking. Today we are ranking every single signature Shadow High doll. This was hard. <laughs> there are a lot of dolls in here. There are 21 to be exact. So we're just going to go ahead and dive in because this one's going to be kind of a long one. In 21st place, I have Eliza. This doll was a massive flop for me. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't want to be really mean, but I don't like this doll at all. Like, there are very few rainbow slash shadow high dolls I don't like. This is definitely one of them. Her dress is kind of cute. I don't hate it. The shoes are not good. The shoes look like they are made from glitter glue. It's rough. And her face, I'm not a fan of. Also, her hair and her wings. I'm sorry, but I do not like this doll. <laughs> In 20th place, I have Dia, 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 however you say it. I also am not super in love with this doll. Um, she's okay. I think her face is pretty and I like her hair. I'm just not into this outfit at all. I don't know. I just don't like it. I do love the shoes. The shoes are super cute. But facially, this doll is really pretty and I love her shoes. I just don't really like the outfit, which is why she's this low. In 19th place, I have Ainsley. I had such high hopes for Ainsley because in the show she's absolutely stunning. Seeing her in pictures, I was like, oh wow, she's gorgeous. The fashion packs that she comes with are phenomenal. Her outfit is phenomenal. I love this outfit and all the pieces she comes with. But there's just something about Ainsley that I'm not like totally vibing with. And I don't really know what it is. Like obviously it's gotta be her face because I'm obsessed with all the outfits, especially these shoes. They're so good. But I don't know. I think the hype of Ainsley was so high in my head that it was just underwhelming, and that's why she's falling this low. I still think she's really pretty, and I do like her. She's just not, she doesn't come close to the other ones. 18th place goes to Rex. I think facially this doll is stunning, and I do like his face a lot. <laughs> The jacket I do not like, and the hoodie I definitely don't like. The pants are really good, and I love the shoes. It's just the top. I'm not a fan of it. I don't really love the huge, like, oversized hoodie jacket things. I know it's kind of a trend right now, but I'm not, not in love with it. And then I don't like what his shirt says. I don't, something about anti-sparkle. I don't even remember, but I don't like it. <laughs> but his face is amazing. 17th place goes to Carla. Is that how you say it? Yeah, Carla. I, I don't know. This doll I go back and forth with because like some days I'm like, wow, she's perfection. I'm in love with her. And then other days I'm like, I don't like this doll. <laughs> so she's kind of like lower in the pack for that reason. But she's really pretty. I like right now when I'm looking at her, I like I really like you. <laughs> but I love her hair. I love her outfit so, so much. And I love her boots. But sometimes her face, I'm just like not here for it. But sometimes I do like it. I don't know. I think it's the eyelashes. They're kind of weird but I do like her. She's pretty. 16th place goes to Ash. I adore Ash. I think he is phenomenal. Such a good boy doll. I love his eyes. His face is gorgeous. His clothing pieces are amazing. There's so much detail in them, which I so much appreciate. I honestly, I just like the other ones more. I do really love him though. 15th place goes to Demi. I'm honestly still shocked that she's this low. Like, I really love Demi. Her makeup is so beautiful. Her hair is beautiful. I love this outfit. She's just like a beautiful little goth girl and I'm obsessed. But I don't know. I just, there's so many that I like more, which is so sad. But I really, really love her. And she is really gorgeous. And these boots. These boots are phenomenal. But unfortunately, she is 15th. In 14th place, I have Luna. I really like Luna. I think she's beautiful. I love her hair. Her face is gorgeous. And I really like her outfits. Like, there's definitely, obviously, ones I like a lot more than her. And I do feel like she gets a really bad rap. Like, everyone hates Luna. Which makes me sad. Because I do really like her. I think she's absolutely beautiful. She's just not as good as the rest. But still beautiful. And these shoes, so good. I don't know. I really like Luna. 13th place goes to Nicole. I really think she's beautiful. I love her face. Her hair is really pretty. Uh, the sporty vibe is not like my vibe, but I do appreciate it. I think it looks really nice on her and I love these shoes. But I have seen so many Nicoles restyled into like different aesthetics and she can be 
absolutely stunningly beautiful, and I do wish they would have went that direction with her instead of the sporty girl, but I do appreciate the sporty girl, and I think she looks really cute. I just think there's other looks that she looks better in. Twelfth place goes to Mara. I love Mara. I think she's absolutely beautiful. I love, love, love her hair so much. I love this crimp look. Her face is really pretty. I like her outfit. I like her shoes a lot. I like her hat. <laughs> I just like everything about this doll. I think she's really, really pretty. There's just others I like more, which is getting tired. Getting tired. I'm getting tired of saying. And 11th place goes to her bandmate Uma, who I also really love. I think she's really, really pretty. I love her hair. Her face is gorgeous. The outfit's really cute. I literally just said this in like yesterday's video, but I love the pants. The split colors are really fun and her shoes are okay. She's overall just a really, really pretty doll. And off my top 10 is Monique. I love Monique. I love her so, so much. Her hair is phenomenal. The micro braids are some of my favorite hairstyles ever. I think it's gorgeous. I love her face. I love her dress. Her shoes are cute. I don't think I have anything negative about this doll, like at all. I really, really love her. There's just others I like more. Ninth place goes to Lola. And this doll took me by surprise. Like I knew she was obviously beautiful. But I didn't know how in love with this doll I was going to be until I actually got her. She is phenomenally pretty. Like, absolutely stunning. I love her face. Her hair is gorgeous. The outfit is super, super cute. I'm not obsessed with the nails. Like, I know everybody's, like, in love with the really long nails on the dolls, which I think is fun. But I prefer, like, not this long. <laughs> I'm just always scared they're going to break. But she is phenomenal irregardless, and I adore her. Eighth place goes to Harley. I love Harley. She is absolutely beautiful. This lip is one of my favorite lips ever. Her face is stunning. I love her hair. Her outfit's really cute. One of the best green dolls ever. I literally said that yesterday, but we're going to say it again. Her nail length is like my ideal nails. Like I like it to be over the fingertips, but not like insane like Lola's are. This is how I want all of my doll's nails to be. <laughs> I really like it and I love these boots. In seventh place, I have Chanel. I think Chanel is absolutely beautiful. I really didn't like Chanel for a moment just because everyone was in love with Chanel that I was like, this doll is overhyped. And I still do think she's overhyped, but I think she's also kind of worth it. Like, she's absolutely beautiful. Her face is gorgeous. Her hair is gorgeous. I love this dress. She is phenomenally pretty. And these shoes are super, super cute too. Sixth place goes to Natasha. This doll is absolutely beautiful. She's one of the prettiest dolls ever. I love her face. Her hair is gorgeous. This dress is super, super cute. I do wish there was only one bow, though. Like, I would cut the bow off the back and just leave the one on the front, and I think that would be a lot better. But, irregardless, she's still stunning. I adore her so, so much. Obviously, one of my favorite dolls. Starting out the top five, we have Miss Glitch. I honestly expected Glitch to be my all-time favorite rainbow slash shadow hide doll ever when I found out that we we're getting a Glitch doll because she's my favorite character. <laughs> I adore her. I think she's absolutely beautiful. But there were definitely a lot of things that got left out on this doll. Like, there's none of her chains. Like, her makeup could have been better. The outfit. I think I would have preferred her other outfit. I do like this one a lot, though. But I really want the chains. Had she had the chains, she'd probably be a lot higher on this list, but she's still gorgeous, still one of my favorite dolls ever, and I adore her. I know a lot of people don't, but I do. Fourth place goes to Naomi, and I'm really hoping this is Naomi, <laughs> and not Veronica. I get them mixed up a lot, but Naomi is gorgeous. The twins are gorgeous. I love this outfit. I love this jacket. Her face is perfection. These shoes are phenomenal. Like, they did not play when it comes to the twins. They are absolutely, absolutely beautiful. And I really like her. And third place goes to Veronica. I love Veronica and Naomi, but I like Veronica a little more. I think it's the bubble. <laughs> I love the bubble gum. A lot of people didn't, but I think it's really cute. And I love her hair up in these, like, pigtails. It's so, so good. This outfit is perfection. These shoes are so amazing. She's honestly just one of the prettiest dolls ever. Second place goes to Zooey or Zoe. I love this doll. <laughs> Honestly, first and second were so close to, for me, but I, I just, she, I had to give it to the other one, but I adore her. She is my favorite color. I love the, her whole aesthetic. The skirt is super cute. I love the like astronaut jacket she's wearing, the plug-in shoes. 
I adore her so, so much. Like, this doll is perfection. One of my all-time favorite dolls ever. I love her. <laughs> I'm really sad she's in second place, but when you see first place, you'll understand, I guess. But I love her. And my favorite Shadow High doll is Heather. I think Heather is absolute perfection. She is so, so pretty, so innovative, so creative. The, like two strands of hair that are on hooks is so freaking weird but like in the best way possible i just adore her she looks like the most creative badass doll i've ever seen i really really adore her she's just a whole vibe honestly i really love her dress i love her second outfit her jacket's really cute i love the split dye her makeup's phenomenal and i really like her shoes yeah this this doll wins <laughs> she's beautiful but that is my ranking for every single Shadow High signature doll. But let me know yours down below. Don't forget to like this video before you go and subscribe so you don't miss out on any more of my future videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.